Um, let's talk about... Obesity. Obesity. Obesity, oh, right, yeah. Um, well, you know, I think we're all aware obesity is, is a problem. I mean, these latest figures are that 4 million people, 4 million people will die every year, OK, globally, from being fat. And um, there, there's some research that looked at adults and children in 195 countries mm. over a spread of 35 years, and they've come up with a figure there are 2.2 billion people in the world today. That's nearly a third of the world's population are overweight. Mm. And, of course, the consequences of that... You know, we do have an obesity epidemic, yeah. and the consequences are, you know, heart disease, strokes, you know, diabetes, all sorts of cancers. And with obesity... What disturbs me is patients can get to a point beyond the tipping point where they, they feel that they can't lose any weight and if they do lose the weight they're left with loads of loose skin yeah. and all sorts of other problems. Mm -hmm. And, it, and the, the, what's scary about this is that it's more than trebled in the last 30 years but it's where it's estimated to go. Yeah, within the next three decades they reckon half the UK population will be obese, not just overweight but obese. Yeah, and, that's and look, Look at your waist size, right? Men should be 38 inches or less waist size. Women should be 32 inches or less waist size. Above those levels, you're overweight. Another test is what I call the limbo test. Uh, L-I-M-B-O. Look in mirror, be honest. Mm. <laughs> That's no <laughs> science, but look in the mirror and be honest. <laughs> yeah, well, good, good point.